Hey guys, what's up? Mary Camerata here with Late Talker Journey. And um, I just listened to that last podcast and I wanted to let you know about something I think is going to be super helpful for you. I was going to tell you about this awesome resource with a book, but I can do that next time. What I heard them talking about was how do you know you're going to get a good eval? How do you know you're going to get a good differential diagnosis? Well, I want to talk to you about something called a parent-only appointment. Parent-only appointments are awesome. Talk to your pediatrician. They're probably going to refer you to a speech-language pathologist or maybe an OT, maybe a PT, depending on what the concerns are. But once they make that referral, I always recommend a parent-only appointment. You will reimburse the specialist for their time. It will be a short appointment, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, but call them up and ask if you can schedule a parent-only appointment. This gives you an opportunity to talk to them, ask them how they work, um, ask them what their philosophy is, and most importantly, it's going to give you, the parent, a chance to get a feeling for them, to see if you guys kind of have a, a relationship, sort of something establishing there. And, you know, people are different, you know, personalities are different, and it's really important that you make a relationship with a helper or a specialist, whether that be a, a speech language pathologist or a teacher or an OT, you want to have a relationship with somebody that um, you feel a good sense of trust and comfort with. So this parent-only appointment is also going to give you that opportunity to listen to your gut because parents' instincts are very, very good. So that's a really important way to make sure that um, you're finding the helper or the specialist that's going to work best with you. Of course, you're going to want them to have you know, their license and you want them to be trained and qualified. And your pediatrician, I wouldn't imagine, would refer you to anything else. But remember that word, parent-only appointment. And one last thought before I go, there was a lot of talk about, you know, how do you get a good differential diagnosis? Remember, what you want is a good evaluation. It might be that they can't definitively differentially diagnose your child. That's not the most important thing. The most important thing and the reason why most parents go to a professional is because they want to help their child. They're feeling at a loss. They don't know why their child's not talking or uh, they were doing great. And now their child's in you know, pre-K and it's not going smoothly. And the teachers are saying their child's struggling. And really what the parent wants to know is how do I help them? What do I need to do? So just remember that when you go to see that specialist, the most important thing, you may not be able to get a specific differential diagnosis, but what you want is a good evaluation and good information that's going to let you help your child because you're the one that's around the child when they're happy, when they're excited, when they're upset with their, maybe with their sibling or they're excited that grandma's coming. You're in all those situations where it's just ripe for really good language interaction. So that's it. I'm going to take my flashlight and get out of here. But remember, parent-only appointment and what you want is a good evaluation and somebody who can really show you how you can help your child. You're going to be the best at it. And I'm going to tell you about this book situation next time. It's awesome. Bye, guys.